We know that Instagram is trying to rival TikTok. And of course, Facebook that owns Instagram is going to try and leverage the Goliath of that platform to get more attention. Also new to Facebook recently are audio rooms. What is an audio room? Quite simply, it is a copycat version of Clubhouse a copycat version of Twitter spaces. It's basically where you can go live on Facebook, but it's audio only and other people can join you. Think about it like a live radio show or a live podcast. So Facebook jumping into the audio space is a really big, uh, a big move on their part. Sticking with audio, soon we will be able to have podcast in stream plays. What does this mean? It means that we'll be able to stream and listen to podcasts within Facebook. This is a big opportunity for those of you that have public sector podcasts. I, for one, am also excited to, to share this podcast on the platform. And then finally, they're also stepping up their e-commerce game. And I know what you're thinking, Joanne, public sector marketing does not align with e-commerce. But the point that I want to make here is that with Facebook stepping up its e-commerce capability by introducing ads in WhatsApp, augmented reality ads, shops in Marketplace, what they're doing is they're grabbing more attention off the 2.8 billion monthly active users. And of course, that's where the real battle is online and on social. It's for attention. So if Facebook is working really hard to maintain the attention of its user base, it means that you as a public sector pro have a bigger opportunity to get their attention as they spend more time on the platform.